how to implement the same site cookie in ASP.NET. You will need to configure your cookies with the same site flag for such things as single sign-on. First, let's create an ASP.NET website, File, New Project, select Web, select C Sharp, go down to ASP.NET Web Application for .NET Framework, click Next, give your project a name, Make sure you're using .NET 4.7.2. If you have an existing project, please upgrade to .NET 4.7.2. And let's create our website. Let's create a web forms website. Make sure you have HTTPS turned on, then click Create. Let's run the default ASP.NET website that's generated for us. This is the default ASP.NET website. Hit F12 to see the developer tools. Go to the Application tab, then click Cookies. Click on your website to see all the cookies for your website. By default, there's no cookies for the ASP.NET website generated for you. We can add the session cookie by going to the global.asx file and adding the session underscore start method. So here's our global.asx file. This is what we have by default. And to add the session cookie, let's add the session underscore start method. Now that we add the session underscore start method in our global.asx file, if we run the application again, we will see the session cookie. Here you can see the default ASP.NET session cookie. By default, same site is set to lax. The secure flag is not set. Let's change same site equal to none and set the secure flag. Let's go to our web config and add an entry for our session cookie. So here in system.web, we can add session state, give the cookie a custom name, set the cookie same site setting. In this example, we want to set the cookie to same site none and make it secure afterwards. This will allow us to post across domains. So now we should have a session cookie called my session cookie and the same site flag should be set to none. Here you see our cookie is now called my session cookie and the same site flag is set to none. Now, let's make it secure. Our first option for making the session cookie secure is to add the HTTP cookies entry in our web config, and then setting requires SSL to true. This should require all the cookies to be secure. Let's run the application. Now you can see the session cookie is HTTP only, secure, same site none. Another option to set this secure flag is in the global.asx file. Let's comment out the tag in the web config file. In session start, let's get our cookie information from system.web session state. Now let's get the cookie name from session state. Let's make sure our session cookie is there by looking at our current request cookies and looking for our session cookie name. If the cookie is there, let's get the cookie by name. First, set the session cookie's value equal to the current session ID. Then we can set the session cookie's secure flag to true. Here we can also set our session cookie path. Now we should have the same session cookie with secure equal to true, just like we did by adding the HTTP cookies tag in our web config. Here you can see if we look at our cookies again after clearing out our previous cookie and refreshing the page, you will see the secure flag set for the my session cookie. Next, let's add the authentication cookie. We will also set it to HTTP only, secure, and same site none. Since this is a web forms application, let's go to our site.master file. Here under contact, we can add an example login button. So let's add another list item, add an ASP.NET button, give it an ID of login, set the text to login, add an on click event, Let's create a new event. We can go to our sitemaster.cs file or our code behind and you can see a login underscore click event was added. We're going to tell it to run at server. Add a reference to system.websecurity for forms authentication. So let's give it a name and set persistence to true. Let's run our website. Let's click login to add the authentication cookie. Now we have our default ASP.NET authentication cookie. By default, it's HTTP only, same site lacks. So now let's set it to secure and same site none. Let's navigate to our web config. And below session state, let's add our authentication tag. So we add our authentication tag. We're gonna set our mode to forms, then add our forms tag. Let's give our authentication cookie a name. Then we can set the require SSL to true, which will enable the secure flag. Then we can set cookie same site equal to none. Now let's run our application. 
clear the cookies that you have, hit login, and you will see your new authentication cookie, my authentication cookie, with the secure flag set and same site equal to none. Now let's add a custom server side cookie with the same flag set. Let's navigate to Site Master again. Below the button that we added to get the authentication cookie, let's add another button to get a custom cookie. We can give it an ID of custom cookie, set the text to custom cookie, add new on click event, and run at the server. So let's go to our code behind. Here we have our custom cookie method. Let's create a new HTTP cookie called custom cookie. Next, let's add this custom cookie to our HTTP context. Let's run the application and check the defaults. All right, we cleared out our cookies. Let's click custom cookie. You can see the defaults for the custom cookie has HTTP only, secure, and same site. None of them are set. So let's set these flags. First, let's fix a typo. Fix our other typo. Next, let's set the values of our example custom cookie. So we have the value set to hello. We will set HTTP only equal to true. We can set same site equal to none and secure equal to true. If you clear out all your cookies, we can click custom cookie and we can see our custom cookie called custom cookie. Our value is hello and our flags are set to HTTP only, secure and same site equal to none. Finally, let's navigate to our site master and now let's add a cookie using JavaScript and set the same site flag to none and set the secure flag equal to true. Under the footer, let's add a script tag. So here's our script tag. We'll set the type to text slash JavaScript. Here we can add one line of JavaScript. We can call document.cookie and create a JavaScript cookie called JavaScript cookie and set the value to awesome set the secure flag to true, and set same site equal to none. Please note, since this is created in JavaScript and not on the server side, that we cannot set HTTP only. If this was server side of JavaScript, then you could set the flag. But this is client side code, so you cannot set the HTTP only flag. So let's run our application. So you see, as we run our application, we have our JavaScript cookie as the JavaScript ran on the start of our website, has a value of awesome. The HTTP only flag is not set because it is a client side cookie. The secure flag is set and same site is equal to none. Now let's clear out all our cookies. If we hit login and then we hit custom cookie, you will see all the cookies that we just created with all the flags set to HTTP only, secure, and same site none, except for of course the JavaScript cookie. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.